for taking some time out of your day. I know this isn't our typical Tuesday masterclass training with Kathy um, that we do on Tuesdays for Q&A, going through stuff in an intimate setting. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more structured. We're going to do about a how-to, but we want to talk about some shuffle uses. And one of the things that I've noticed as um, Kathy, you and I have been talking through stuff and I've interacted with a lot of the users out there is a lot of people think about a singular use that they maybe got shuffle for um, to, to use to help and benefit them. Um, but then they realize they can use shuffle for so much more. And really that's one of the goals of uh, this sort of use training that we're gonna be going through today. And we're gonna be talking about different uses. We want to make sure that you understand what you have at your disposal. Shuffle is such a powerful tool and it can be used in so many ways. And all too often I find somebody get stuck in that headspace of shuffle is just a digital business card. And in my mind, I go, oh no, it's so much more. I cannot wait, please participate, join the community. Because what I see time and time again is as we're all together talking about our tips, our tricks, our best practices, especially on Tuesdays and on Fridays when we come together as a community, we start to hear about people using Shuffle to do certain things that support aspects of their business that could carry over to almost every business out there. In addition, you also may know somebody who could benefit from this type of use in their business and you could share this with them and again, help us in our mission to spread Shuffle worldwide. So with that being said, today's training, use training is going to be what we call a link hub. Now, Kathy, let's talk about this. I know we're, we're using the phrase link hub. There have been a lot of other phrases used out there, but let's talk exactly what is a link hub shuffle card and how is it being leveraged um, online by all types of people and what could we be putting on it? And then the goal for today is we're gonna jump in and we're gonna build out a link hub card. Yay, I'm excited. You know, I think um, if, you, if you're familiar, there's all kinds of link things. There's ways to, um, you know, to get everybody's eyeballs on something that's yours, right? And that's really what we're trying to do. But the nice thing is, let's do everything in shuffle. I mean, that's kind of, people joke about this all the time, but I'm like, listen, if the joke is that, the, you know, a guy can fix anything with duct tape, I can fix anything with shuffle. I, I just, I'm like, tell me what you're trying to do, and I could probably get Shuffle to do it, right? So in this use case, um, what we're trying to do is give you a hub or a, you know, one local spot where you have a list of information. A lot of these are, you're going to find them on the um, Instagram profiles. So because Instagram only allows you one link, right? You can only put one link up there in your profile section. You most likely probably have more than one thing that you want people to go find. So you use that real estate, that one link, to then give them a whole entire list of things that they could go link to. So from Instagram, you might want them to go to, and I have a whole list of these so we can talk about them. You might want them to go to your, you know, sign up for your email list. They might want to go to, um, to your website, to your shop page, to your other social media, all the things that you want to link them to. But the nice thing about the shuffle link card or link hub or whatever you want to call it we're trying to figure out what we're calling it is that it could be more than just a static link right it could have a picture or it could have um different information on it than just that one thing because you can build these out in the templates yourself or you can see what's coming up in marketplace built for you so we're excited about that yeah and i i think this is what's so exciting kathy right like Here's a, uh, the dilemma is I only get one link on this website. Oh no, now they've restricted me. And I can tell everybody who's coming to check out my gram that there's one place for them to go to. But lo and behold, if they click on that link, they're going to a page that has everything I want to, to uh, put in front of them. So for everybody watching this, a good example of this is like, let's say you're that Instagram influencer, right? You've got lots of people following you on Instagram, but you're really social. So not only do you have your Instagram, you've got your Facebook, you've got your uh, name or pick your poison, right? We could just go through all of them on there. 
And so what you want to do, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's these other ones, right? LinkedIn doesn't matter. It's other, other profiles online. You want them to connect with you socially. So, oh, you found me on Instagram. Great. Connect with me on Facebook and on YouTube too. Well, I only get one link. I'm going to put it on here. Here is my link hub would be all social links. So I would say, connect with me here and here and here and here. But Kathy, you and I were talking about this and there will be other uses for maybe um, me needing a list of outbound links from one source. One of those things that I was excited when you mentioned it was a directory, right? Mm -hmm. Like I belong to a group or maybe I'm part of a team or maybe collectively I work together with a group of people. Maybe I'm in, and I know out here in Colorado, real estate is exploding. So maybe I'm part of a brokerage and it's me uh, as a real estate agent, my partner as an agent and the mortgage brokers and appraisers and everybody else that we work with. And I wanna create a, di a directory or maybe I'm part of a networking group and we are networking together and I wanna create a directory. Again, my link hub might be just a list with all of their links to their personal shuffle profiles. But Kathy, to your point, it just doesn't have to be a bunch of buttons stacked on top of each other. Maybe I want to put an image above each button because I'm building a directory and I want somebody to see the face of the person whose link they're clicking on. So that, that could be another way to use these link hubs uh, to connect one person to everything else you want them to have access to. So that's really the premise behind a link hub is one page, lots of outbound links, very easy for me to give somebody one link and then on that page, give them access to anywhere else they would want to go. Absolutely. And another use, I was actually just talking, hey, Mindy. I was talking to my friend Mindy earlier today, um, is maybe you have multiple uh, ventures, right? So maybe you have lots of different uh, affiliate programs that you're with and you want to have like a, here's my favorites page. You have all the different affiliate that, uh, marketing that you do and a quick way for someone to find and, and connect with you in all those different businesses. So, I mean, there's a lot of people. I mean, how, we've talked about this. How many five, I think five to seven, uh, like little mailbox money, ways of having income is very, very popular right now. So yeah. why not have one place they can find all the things that you do? So put it all in that same card. Yeah, we get, we get asked all the time, like, what do you do? What do you do, right? And if you're an entrepreneur like me, you do a lot of things, right? And it's a lot of little things, maybe side hustles, your primary venture, uh, other things that you might be doing, right? Our lives are multifaceted. So we maybe want to put an, uh, one card together with outbound links to all of those things that we give to somebody. Um, I will caution, and Kathy, you and I were laughing about this uh, yesterday. When you're building these out, think about the context. Think about who you're sharing it with. Um, you know, you're not going to be putting things on one card that sort of conflict with each other. The example sort of in, in jest that I, I mentioned to you, Kathy, yesterday was like, look, you're not going to put your CBD company uh, affiliate link on with the link to maybe your church on the same card. You, you may, but again, depending on who you're sharing your card with, those audiences might be conflicting against each other. So be wise about how you're leveraging these link hubs. But one of the benefits of Shuffle and using these link hubs is you don't just get one card in Shuffle. So you could create a link hub for one area of business, one area of life, things that you love, things you want to collectively share to people, all of your social. And you can create another one and another one and another one. And you might use this link hub on your Instagram. And this link hub is actually a link from one of your cards that, you know, check out all the other things you do. And this one's for my affiliate programs, uh, et cetera. So you've got that flexibility uh, to add or have multiple link hub cards uh, that you can use. In addition, I think the other thing is the ability to add and personalize these cards to really dial in these outbound links. Something that will start out with might be very simple, right? Where it's just a bunch of buttons stacked up to getting more and more complex where we're actually surrounding each link with a little bit of context. Maybe it's uh, a, a line of text, maybe it's an image, maybe it's a video. Again, we've got a lot of flexibility within Shuffle. Yep, we sure do. I'm so excited. Maybe we, maybe we should share our screen and start talking about this and, and, and showing what's coming up, Kathy. Let's do it. Okay. Let's share my screen. So here is what we are talking about. And what's, I, I, I think ahead. what's exciting as Kathy, you're bringing this up is 
One, um, this is going to be part of our marketplace template. So I'm super excited that this will simplify the process in building out a link hub for yourself. Um, again, as we go through this, we'll show how you can clone things and do additional things um, on these link hub cards. You're going to be able to find this in marketplace. Uh, you're also going to be, once you start to know and learn the skill set of building in Shuffle, able to build one of these from scratch using any standard template. So if you do want to really customize or dial in your link hub card, you can do that. But with the marketplace card, if you do a little bit of preparation, have your links ready, you know, and I think that's a best practice, Kathy, that you talk about, like, what links do I want to have on my card? Instead of finding those links when I go out while I'm building my card, I might want to already have those links in place. This is my Instagram. This is my Facebook. You know, this is my YouTube, et cetera. Or these are my affiliate pages. Whatever you're going to be putting on that card, if you have all of that ready, then building this card should literally take you less than five or 10 minutes, guys. And that's the power of having these marketplace templates. So, Kathy, let's take a look at this one and talk about some of the, the features. Absolutely. And you can see that I actually have them mine. I have them sitting up here in my little um, shortcuts because I use them so often I can get quickly get to all of my social media links. So if I need them. Um, so, yeah, so this one is one of our examples. Very simple. Again, it's just a photo who you are, an area with a paragraph to let somebody know more about you, right? So remember, this is going to be, this is just grabbing your attention. This isn't going to be, you know, a, a never ending scroll card. This is grabbing their attention because obviously something they just saw made them want to click on your profile link and learn more about you. So you could have, and these are all changeable. This is going to be something where you can change the words on here, um, but maybe you have an email list. Uh, like Br said, your different social media. So you're coming off of one and you're going to some other ones, a product image or your, you know, you, you have a catalog image or whatever you want to put here. Um, and then maybe you have an offer. So maybe you do a 15 minute um, brainstorming session. Maybe you do um, a free sample send out. Maybe you have something like that. So put in an offer and then quickly they can just submit for that offer right here. You can put something behind that button. It is that simple. But these are built for you so that you can come in here, quickly okay. grab your photo. Kathy, you didn't have to drag and drop or start from a standard card to build what you just showed us. You literally Absolutely. open up that template and now you're just swapping out information. Yep. I'm just going to grab some photos. I got to get to mine. Got several pictures set in here. So I got to get all the way down. Let's see if I can pull these up real fast. <laughs> See, I know you guys think I sit around all day and just train people I'm building stuff all the time. Here we go. I think I'm close. Where am I? There I am. All right. There so there's go. me. So I got a photo. I can put in my name, just like a card. But again, this is all built. See how fast I can do this, even with all my photos. Well, and Kathy, while through. you're focused on this, I'm going to do some um, talk over here. The benefit on all of this, as you can see with what Kathy's doing, is she's literally just clicking and typing or clicking and copying and pasting. So what I love about Shuffle, and this is something that I learned early on, Kathy, while you're looking up your links and stuff, I want to tell this story because when I started building content online, it was early 2000s, like 2000, 2001, 2002. And at that time, there wasn't a page building platform. There was no Shuffle. Uh, there was no Square or, or WordPress or Squarespace or any of these sort of site building platforms. If you wanted to build a web page, you needed to learn HTML code. You needed to go into some type of HTML editor. If you were lucky, you had what they called a, a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get type of builder. Uh, I remember Dreamweaver was one that I used and you could jump back and forth between the visual and the code. But man, was it a time consuming process to really dial in and build out a card based on what you were trying to accomplish. You, you know, I would typically start on a whiteboard like the whiteboard behind me. I would mock out these boxes, sort of a series of boxes to lay out my page. I would build up the page and then I'd start building elements into that page. We've taken all of that hard work away. In fact, as you can see, I, I talked maybe for a minute or two here and Kathy's already made a ton of forward progress in just jumping back and forth between some tabs 
And, and this is why I recommend if you're building cards, you should build them on your desktop computer. It's a lot more efficient, easier. Can you build them on your phone? Yes, you can, but you need to use your mobile browser and log in through the browser online. It doesn't, not in a native app. And again, trying to build websites with your thumbs, guys, through your mobile phone, can it be done? Yes. Is it uh, fun? Not as fun as building them on the desktop. And that's, that's for sure. So, you know, log in on your computer, pull it up, grab the template um, once that becomes available in the marketplace, and then just sort of go through the steps of clicking on elements. As you can see what Kathy is doing, clicking on the elements within that template and on the left-hand side, it pops up everything that is editable within that template. So you're literally clicking and typing or clicking and pasting in links or text, et cetera. So you can see right here, uh, Kathy's editing that little button. Maybe it's to schedule an appointment with you on Calendarly. So she's got her Calendarly link in there. Maybe uh, it's to visit your shopping cart to, to get the offer that was listed just above. Uh, you can do whatever you'd like to do to put on your card. Now, uh, Kathy, what I want to do real quick, and you can see Kathy's pretty much built out this whole card here. There's a few other things that she could edit or dial in. She can preview it and see what it's looking like, and it looks very clean and professional. And for, I don't know, three minutes worth of work, Kathy, uh, very, very amazing. In addition, let's say you had a, a few more links. This is truly a link hub. So let's take that join my email list button. And let's put in a few more buttons, a few more links. Maybe it's my favorite uh, search engines. So let's make a link out to Google and out to Yahoo and out to Ask Jeeves and DuckDuckGo or something like that. But just to show how easy it is, you can see Kathy just clicked on one of the buttons. She went down to the bottom and hit the clone option and it just mirrored a copy of that outbound link. And so now she can go in and she can uh, type in what she wants that button to read. So here it's my favorite browser. And then she's put in the URL as Google. Maybe she copies another one and then she says like, you know, my favorite email and it's Yahoo or whatever it is. You know what I mean? This is the, the fun, my podcast, et cetera. So this, what, what Kathy's he, uh, doing here with stacking these buttons in its, in its simplest form, this is the link hub, right? It is just a stack of all of these outbound links that Kathy's putting together. And in this card and in this card template on how it's set up, Kathy could have three links in her link hub or she could have 300 links, you know what I mean? Now, I wouldn't build a 300 link card link hub to share with people. Although one thing I do wanna bring up that, that uh, it makes me think of is SEO capabilities with these link hub cards. And why do I say that? We've had a lot of questions from users who say, look, um, I'm trying to increase search engine optimization. Are these cards search engine uh, friendly? Will they get spidered, et cetera? Uh, and the answer is yes, there are some limitations. You're not gonna go in and edit metadata and some of those HTML type of qualities, but uh, it will have you know, inbound or outbound links. Um, it will have copy and keyword saturation, all of these types of things that the search engines are looking at when they consider things. But the other thing is because you're linking this card back to other sites, those are inbound links. So anywhere that you share this card, if it gets spidered, that actually represents an inbound link back to whatever link is coming from your link hub. So theoretically, if you did wanna create a card with 300 stacked links and go around posting it, you could actually increase your search popularity just from that one instance alone. Now, obviously, uh, do that with caution. We don't want to be spamming the search engines. We don't want to be hacking the search engines. Um, but we do want to be maximizing our capability to have inbound links coming to the material that we want them to come to. So uh, a, a good idea for that, if you're trying to do SEO on one of your cards, is to maybe make sure you're linking to that card from some of your link hub cards. And then posting those link hub cards, like Kathy mentioned, a good strategy would be maybe it's all of the affiliate programs that I represent. And then I want to go into any affiliate blog group and say, here are the programs that I'm working. I'm always looking for more ones and post it out there and people could review that and link back out to your programs. Well, maybe all of those are outbound links to cards. Now your card is getting more and more popular. So what I want to call out while I've been sort of chit chitty chatting here is look at this amazing card that Kathy has now built, right? So if we want to start at the top, Kathy. 
started by adding her image at the top, right? So now people know exactly who just shared a card or they're on the, it's got who she is and what she does. And then it's got her list of outbound links. Boom, if we stopped right underneath this social, that would be a very simple link up. Now she's talking about, maybe I wanna put in some product information, maybe a promotion or an offer and another outbound link. This is the beauty of Shuffle. She can continue to add or modify this template to really personalize it for herself. I know a lot of the templates out there from other providers, they tend to limit you, right? You get five links in your link hub or you get one link hub card or, or whatnot. You're not gonna find that here. We want you to dial in your link hub so that it best supports what you are trying to do. So Kathy, anything you wanna add? Yeah, I think, I mean, so again, amazing, right? If you have just this one card, even if all the, the only thing you do is put this in your um, Instagram, profile, look at all the things that they can find out about you, right? So you are in charge of driving the eyeballs, right? You get the eyeballs to your Instagram, you get your eyeball, eyeballs to social media, but once you get them there, you then want to give them the chance to get your product or your service or whatever it is that you're marketing. I've now given you a way to find my Facebook, my YouTube, my Pinterest. Um, if I had a podcast, if I had a calendar, you can text me, you can call me. Do you know how many times there, I mean, you could get people to convert now. I use my Instagram link specifically. I'm not a big Instagrammer, I'll admit that here, um, but I use it specifically for Clubhouse. If you're on Clubhouse, there is no messaging in Clubhouse right now. So Instagram DMs is the way that you get from a conversation in Clubhouse to a conversation in real life. So this to me would be so important. Now, I completely up to you. I threw the phone in there just to throw it in there so you guys can see that you could do it. I would probably put in um, more of a, you know, a, a messaging kind of thing. I, I actually like to use Patter for this um, instead of giving out my personal information um, on social media. But this is a great way just to, you know, be able to, like, I just wanted you to see the variety of information that you could share. Well, and I like the scenario you just talked about, Kathy, right? Maybe you're on Clubhouse right now. You know you want people to contact you, so they're going to go to your Instagram to DM you. Yep. But they have only one link on Instagram, but you use a Link Hub card, and it opens up the gate to everything that you do. And voila, now you're starting to generate an audience that's going across multiple platforms, the, the, the last thing I want to call out on this, Kathy, if you scroll down to the bottom of your card, there, there's a, a thing in the template itself that is a, um, and, and I think we might be on the preview, I'm not 100% sure, but the, um, the lead capture campaign section, and you can see where it says campaign form right at the bottom here. Again, you can turn your link hub card into a prospect generator. Think about that, that, right? Here's who I am. Here's everything I do and how to link with me. But if you want to get a hold of me, then go ahead and put your information below and fill out that form and you can get notified when, when you capture new leads. How many of us each and every day or how many other businesses out there for that matter are solely looking, how do I generate leads from maybe Clubhouse? Well, you can't have any forms or any links or anything over there. Okay, well, what's the next thing? Oh, well, they're going to my Instagram. Okay, well, now they're on your gram. Maybe they're going to direct message you. So maybe they can get a hold of you there, but that still doesn't add them to your list. So you got to get a form in front of them. This could be another way to do that, right? Here's the way you can connect with me. Want to get a hold of me? Here's all of this stuff. It can even be something where if Kathy wanted to, she could create a campaign with this link hub form and she could make that campaign a mandatory pop-up. So that if the person was on her Instagram and wanted to see all things Kathy, they would have to actually give Kathy their information so that Kathy could start that relationship process. And that's really what it all boils down to. All of the content and all of the information that we're creating within our shuffle cards to get out there in the digital world is all about engaging with other people and forming those new relationships. And so you want to be thinking about all of that. So Kathy's just saved her card. And uh, again, I think we spent more time talking about a link hub card than it actually took to build it. Uh, but I, I think that that's something that's really powerful, right? I can come in or if, you, if you're watching this, you can get shuffle. Oops. You, can, you can get shuffle. You can grab a card for a link hub. Yeah, Charlie. Yep. And then you can go through and build out a card 
and make it available for everybody. And you can do it in less than five or 10 minutes if you've done a little bit of extra preparation work, making sure you have envision or imagine what you want on your link hub card. So here's another link hub card template Kathy is, is showing us right now. And I wanna call this one out purely for one primary reason, simplicity. Mm -hmm. Simplicity. When I think about how we leverage our shuffle cards, our, what, what is essentially a web page, you've got a few different approaches. And Kathy, you and I were laughing about this yesterday as well. I know we talk a, a, a lot and uh, I've come across these pages that are like what, what you would refer to as the endless scrolling sales page. I think all of us have encountered that at one time where it's just like never ending, keep scrolling down and you feel like you're caught in the chasm of just this scrolling page. And they're good and they work in certain situations. But sometimes we just want to cut through all of the noise and we want to give the person exactly what they're looking for. And when we eliminate all of that other distraction and confusion, the eyeballs actually take action on those things. And so having a simple link hub like this, where it might be just your image, your name, who you are, and then the outbound links that you want to have. And in this case, there's five links on there. You know, Kathy's just gone through and recolored them. I mean, you can see how easy this is to edit. You're just clicking on the element. Like if Kathy clicks on the picture, it's going to pop up on the left-hand side and say, change your picture. If she clicks on a button, like the green button, you know, it's going to say, you know, what do you want the button to read? What colors do you want it to be? Where do you want it to link to? It is literally point, click, type, or paste. <laughs> that simple. So that's what I love about this done for you type stuff in the marketplace is we're going to make more and more of these templates and templates like these available to all Shuffle users. We encourage you, if you're just using Shuffle for a business card, you are missing out. I mean, just missing out. And I implore you, you've got 10 cards as part of your initial stack in Shuffle, like build a link hub card, you know, build a business card, build a product or service brochure or something that highlights you or your brand. You have the capability at your disposal to do it. You just need to take that action to lean in, create these cards and then start leveraging them for your benefit. So Kathy builds this amazing card. It's really a rainbow of links. And uh, she could take this after saving it and be posting this anywhere she wants it to go, right? So this could go on your Instagram. Maybe it's outbound link hub that you want to put in your email footer. Maybe it's things that when you're out there talking with people and you meet people, before you give them their bi your business card, it's like, here's all things me. And each one links to the individual business cards of the things that you do. There are so many different ways to use this link hub to benefit yourself that you're putting yourself at a disadvantage if you don't leverage it, in my opinion. Absolutely. And I mean, part of social media, of course, we've all heard it. We all, you know, we preach it. It's being social, right? So your social media does not necessarily say, I help you with a digital business card. It's just getting people's attention and their information, right? So here, once you, I get your attention, we start a conversation, we get, I, you know, I get to know people through their social media, right? If they do it well. And then I'm like, I'm a dream. I want to know more about this person. So that's when the, the conversation can shift and you go to their link and you go to their profile and you're like, oh, I didn't know she even did all those things, right? I'm getting to know you as a person. I had a, a meeting with somebody after a networking meeting this morning. And I mean, we hardly even talked about what we did. But I know tons of things about him, his kids, where he moved here from, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you name it, right? So your social media is meant to be social. Then pull them into your link then let your link shine and let them see all the things that you do. We tried to put some um, ideas on here. These are limitless, right? So these were just some ideas um, that we came up with. Um, but there, you can put anything on here. Let people watch you. You know, Maybe you've been interviewed on a podcast. Maybe you have your own blog. Maybe you have your own um, YouTube page. I mean, let the people figure out who you are and let them, I always say, let them get to know you at their pace you just keep being you and you're going to draw on the right audience. That is, that is so true, Kathy. And, and what I love about it is uh, in one instance, we're talking about a link hub as a way to link to all of my social, you know, media places. In another way, we're trying to be our authentic self and build our own personal brand. 
And in order for people to do business with us, they need to know, like, and trust us. And, and, and what you just said is this is almost in a way a choose your own adventure for that person to come in and say, Who, oh, Kathy's got this great card. Oh, wow, look at all of these things that she does. I really want to explore the yellow one, you know? And then they go down that rabbit hole and they learn a little bit more. Now they know a little bit more, they trust a little bit more. It's all part of that trust process that Michael and Edwin have talked about, Kathy, that you know we really wanna, at the end of the day, go out with that servant leader mentality, help our clients. And the only way we're gonna do that is if they trust us by getting to know us and what we can do for them. So a, another great use, yep. Absolutely, and, and to me also, it's just, um, oh, I lost my, oh, the, I love the shuffle because it's already included, right? There's no upcharge to use this card. This card is in our marketplace. We have this card at our disposal and we can brand it with our own colors. We can put all the things in here that we want. We can add links, take away links. You can make this exactly what you want it to be. And then as you start to use it more and more, maybe you add another business or you add a you know, blog or you add a web a, a podcast or something else, you just go and you add it. Exactly. You know, it's just, it's, it's perfect. It's exactly what Shuffle was made for. Get to, you know, give me your information and let me consume it at my rate. A hundred percent. Now, one of the last things I want to throw out as a concept, uh, Kathy, is if you're doing this for yourself, and this is something that I've learned as an entrepreneur, typically as an entrepreneur, when I start a business, it's really because I really wanted something. And then I thought to myself, like, if I'm willing to buy or pay for this thing, uh, other people probably are too. It solved my problem. It will probably solve theirs. What I, why that's important is if you're building out a link hub for yourself, I can guarantee you there are other people out there who could benefit from the support of having their own link hub and the value that that link hub creates for them. And one of the things that uh, is so exciting about Shuffle to me is that because this is done for you content and you just acquire a little bit of skill set to go in and, and leverage the platform to build out your cards, you can now empow be empowered to build some of these cards for other people to show them maybe a link hub that you could do for them. Uh, so uh, I don't want you to lose sight of not just focusing on you, but focusing on helping others as well, because that's truly the ethos of uh, LFI and Shuffle is we want that high tide to raise all ships. We want to show the power of this tool to the world. We want to highlight ourselves and we want to help people highlight themselves. So, the, you know, Kathy, with that being said, I, I love how this Link Hub card just gives you the flexibility to do all of that. I do too. I love that you're talking and I can play while you're talking because everyone that comes to my training knows I can't type and talk at the same time. So this is perfect. <laughs> it's like me. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time without tripping over myself. So it's a perfect match. In fact, I have a feeling we're going to be doing a lot more of these use type trainings. And one thing I want to ask our audience who's joining us live today here, Kathy, before maybe we, we open up some Q&A at the end here. Um, but uh, I want to ask you what other types of uses, one, are you maybe using Shuffle for that you think others would benefit from, or two, that you'd like to learn how to do a use for? Oh, I had this idea of using Shuffle for this, but I just haven't flushed it out all the way. We can flush it out together as a use training. I know I've uh, thought through a few. I think the next one we're going to be talking about, Kathy, might be what uh, is referred to in the industry as the video landing page. I think that's Absolutely. a very powerful marketing tool. Again, the power of Shuffle is if it can be on a web page, it can be built on Shuffle. Uh, I love the statement, Kathy, that you made at the very beginning of this training, right? Like, I can solve anything with, sh with Shuffle, you know? And, and that's so true if we look beyond uh, a, a digital business card and we think about, we have people's eyeballs looking at their phones or at their computer screens, and we want to show them something. And then a big question mark, what is the something you want to show them? Oh, those types of things. Uh, I, I love it. I see Kathy, you're, you're, you're on there talking about uh, PowerPoint presentations and things like that. Again, yes. The answer is always yes with Shuffle. You can do that. You could build a whole card that's either uh, the slides of the PowerPoint where you go through the image scroller and they could scroll through them. Maybe it's the stacked slides and they're scrolling down almost like an endless scroll. So there's flexibility there and you just have to envision what you want to create and then get into the standard templates or the marketplace and find or build a template that best suits that use. 
And as we go through this series on use training, we want to think collectively about different types of uses because we're going to put together done for you templates that will be in the marketplace so that you don't have to go through the brain damage of building out those templates if you're not as technically savvy as some of our designers on the platform. And I think that's the power of marketplace, right? Um, you're going to have some link hub cards in the marketplace. When we get out with video landing pages, we'll put some video landing page uh, uh, templates in the marketplace and so on and so forth. I know other ones, lead capture forms, just solo lead capture forms are a big powerful one. Uh, so we're going to start exploring all of these uses within Shuffle because if you are not using Shuffle in one of these areas but could benefit from it, we want you to be educated so that you can lean into that and get that benefit out of Shuffle that you already have at your disposal. So Kathy says she just wants you to know that she's wanting a Shuffle PowerPoint. <laughs> so I well, know we can do that too. We can put it on the card. Together. <laughs> she might be on this call, but I won't call her out. But I know somebody <laughs> that can put that help us put that together. Does That's anybody have any questions? Feel free to raise your hand. I was trying to like kind of take some actions and do some different things. So when the recording is out later, while ER was talking, you could see how I kind of changed colors and changed links and did different things. So we will do an entire um, Tuesday, you know, Q&A on this if, if people have questions about how to build these once they're in Marketplace. But do you guys have any questions about these? Do you have any suggestions about different things that we can build for Marketplace and different best use and practices that we can do in the future? Feel free to raise question. your hand or jump in. Yeah. I have a question. Absolutely. Hi, hey, Ray. Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hey. Ray. Oh, I think Ray, Ray went first. Yeah. Um, I have a card. Now, I did something to you. I think you showed me how to do it, and I did it. Now I've done it. I can't go back and do it again. I can't figure out how I did it. How do I do that? Uh, it's, it's, it's putting a, a solid picture behind the words that I put on my card, like a different color of the, of the background. Behind the so paragraph? I the background on the words, not, not, just, not just a picture or anything like that, but it was hold on, on. the words. Yeah, hold on one second. Somebody is not muted who's, um, I'm not yeah, sure what they're doing. If you're on here, please mute yourself. Yeah, if you're not you're talking, not please live. mute who's, I can't see. I think it's going to pop up here. Usually I can tell who it is. Um, on Okay, changing the words in the background, I'm going to make a note on that, and we will talk about that on Tuesday. So let's talk about this specifically today, and we'll talk about uh -huh. changing the background on Tuesday. And Kathy, real quick, um, we see that you've got an image in your name on this link up card. If you can just real quick click on the gear, uh, uh, for the background on that. And I can see that you've got an image in your background on change. If you can just select the video for YouTube oh. option. Oop, yeah. Yep. I'm just going to say, um, this is really the area that we're talking about. You see how Kathy just was able to change that. Now it's a video behind there. Obviously you want to pick and choose what you're putting on your card so that the viewer has a good experience because this video has some white on here, you can see Kathy's name is like subtly appearing as the water washes over it. Sort of cool, but also could be overlooked by the viewer. So be thinking about that when you do use those backgrounds. If you're editing these cards, again, you're in the template and you're really just clicking on elements within the template. So you're gonna either be clicking on um, elements on the left hand side, or you're going to be clicking on elements on the right hand side of the, t you know, in the template, like the name field here that Kathy's on, or like the gear icon, or uh, the buttons on the card. And that's what's going to open up all of those things. One thing I want to mention to everybody, especially uh, who might be new to Shuffle, is get into a template and play around with it. I, I assure you, you're not going to break your Shuffle. You might design a card that you end up deleting which is fine, right? But uh, you're, you're going to learn something as you go through and play around with it. So get in there, play around with it, click on things. Uh, sometimes if you're really exploring, don't edit a card that you use, maybe clone that first uh, to build it out. But uh, grab a link hub card like this and just start playing around. Absolutely. Yeah, but we will, I will definitely, we'll make sure we revisit that, right? I'm trying to change this back to right. Yeah, thanks. Um, okay. I'm trying to figure out because I want to do it to another card, you know, yeah. soon. 
Absolutely. Out, join on Tuesday and check out the gear icons on that card. So when you're in the editor, look for those little gears that uh, uh, Kathy just uh, moused over there. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. That's what I was that. using, right? Those little gear boxes. I use those. Yeah, I agree. Uh, those are the ones I was referring to, and I couldn't particularly find the one that I needed. I, I, I couldn't okay. figure it out. Um, I would. I, I would suggest I know what you mean. The, at the top, but let's go through it on Tuesday's uh, in-depth Q and A training. Yeah, I think I know what he wants, Ray. If I figure it out, I will send you a quick video. Okay. Um, the link hub templates will be in Marketplace when the art. Probably by the end of this week. So my goal is to have them in tomorrow, um, at least by this weekend. So if you're out there um, uh, getting ready to go out to an event or use something or you want to update your Instagram, you can do that uh, by this weekend. Awesome. Uh, and if James. You're this in replay, they're already in the marketplace, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> Yes, that exactly. Sometimes. That's a good point. We always say like, this is today. And then we forget what today is. And then somebody watches it later. And it's like, it's not there anymore. No. Uh, James, you have your hand up. Uh, just a couple things. So yeah. what I got on for was trying to figure out how to set these up for one would be like Chamber of Commerce, one would be like a network marketing company for for events. So I'm wondering if we could actually have one or maybe a couple templates made one looks like a week layout and one looks like a month layout that someone could just go in and actually, you know, say it's on the 17th of March and they want to put in a St. Patrick's day dinner. They can just put some kind of a, a link or description in there. Same way with a week. So if in a week they have Monday calls, they have Tuesday calls or just, you know, whatever, kind of like we do on a week at a glance, but, have an actual template set up that people can do a training set up easily like that? Yeah, James. In fact, uh, even starting with the card that Kathy's on right now, like you mm -hmm. could imagine if she um, uh, dragged up some of the buttons or dragged down some text between some of the buttons, cloned some things, that she could start taking like each of those pink and green bars and turning them into the labels for the week, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or for the month, you know, uh, January, February, March, and start going down that path. And, and uh, actually, James, when you first mentioned your question, I almost thought in terms of a directory, which is something we mentioned earlier, like, here's everybody in my chamber, and, and, and a hub or a link out to those individuals, or here's everybody on my team and this direct sales or, or, or network marketing uh, organization I'm with, and you would build out sort of uh, that group versus the event. So this could be used in either way. If you're going down there, yeah, like uh, Kathy's building a directory right now, labeling each button, realtor, plumber, roofer, et cetera. Maybe that's part of the chamber group is here's what everybody's listing on. But just a, a, as much as it's a realtor, plumber, roofer, it could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then if Kathy, um, if you can click on the I'm excited to connect with you uh, text box, I don't know if that's clonable. Will you scroll down? Go on ahead and clone that. And then let's drag it below one of those buttons. And so oh, I'm just connected. Right. They're not, okay. I'm going to have to, we'll have to get them to connect out of there. Yeah. Yep. So uh, one other area or Kathy, you could do it with your name if you wanted to. I mean, I I'm just looking for one line of text, mm -hmm. but uh, just as an example on, on James's question here, where you would put some text below each button. So if it was Monday and then all you'd need to do is update the cards on whatever events are happening on Monday. In fact, we do that here at LFI when we do our week at a glance card, where we actually have a card built out that's more like a link hub of all of the events. And one of the things I like about that is Kathy's Tuesday master training, her Q and A's that happen on Tuesday, she adjusts the time on a weekly basis in a way to give more flexibility for people to join and participate at those live events because they're not recorded. Well, instead of us updating the primary card all of the time, that link hub stays the same. And the link that goes off of that card is to a card that Kathy can manage. So when she updates her schedule, she can do those things. So James, to your question, I do maybe even a, a, um, an event you know, a schedule card, but I would empower the people who you link out to that card to have their own card that they can be in charge of updating as well. So that way they can make those updates and that the links between the two are always the same. So that way, you know, your event card is always relevant to who you're sharing it with. Correct. And then how can you, can you actually walk us through how, 
I forgot how to do it, but take the like the day, the week at a glance and actually show us how to put it on the home page again on our phone. Yeah. yeah. I, I would, do you want to, I can do a quick, yeah, I can quick, do, do, I can, quick one. Otherwise I would say, let's plan on uh, putting that on the Tuesday docket as well, but uh, let's yeah. go through because I, I think this is important for anybody who's sharing any shuffle card could be put on a mobile device's home screen and make it really easy for that person to come back. So again, if you're working with a team, maybe it's a direct sales team and everybody needs to be at all of the events, you're gonna show them how to save that week at a glance card to their home screen is uh, James, what you're talking about, if I'm clarifying correctly. Correct. Yeah, I think that is one of the most important things. I do that with one of my networking groups um, already. I have all the ladies information in there, everything that everybody does. Um, hold on, let me get the right card up so I can show you the right thing. And then I can share. Hold on one second. Um, I think this is great for groups. This is great for just you personally. Um, if you're going to go and build these cards, show people how to save them, right? Show them that they can, can use it in different ways. Um, and I've gone ahead while Kathy's pulling up her card. I've actually put in our week at a glance card link into the chat on Zoom here. So if you're on this Zoom live, obviously, if you're watching this in replay, you're not in the chat here. But if you're on this Zoom live, you've got access to this card that is our shuffle week at a glance. And you can see, again, it is a modified link hub where it's a list of outbound links all going through broken down by these labels, starting with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And if you're on the Tuesday one, what I want to call out to everybody is that click here for this month's schedule is linking to a second card that Kathy actually manages. So we don't have to adjust the week at a glance card if the other dates and, and, and times are pretty much static. Sorry, I'm getting messages that I'm laughing at. I could do that. This, I could do this with that. I could what? Um, well, okay, that's so the goal, from, right? That's the goal. We want you to be thinking out of the box on all of the things that you guys can do with Shuffle so you get the most use of it. So Kathy, absolutely. you've got this card up on your phone. And you, so you send this to somebody, they pull it up live. You guys, I never leave somebody and have them just open my card and I walk away, right? Show them how to save it either to their phone um, contacts or to their screen, right? Yeah. So on iPhone, it's this little button down here with the box with the arrow up. On Android, I believe it's three buttons up at the top and then it gives you the option to home screen. So on um, iPhone, you just click that little box and you wanna add it to your home screen. So when that comes up, I know it's a little bit of a lag right here, add to home screen. It's gonna give this um, in the picture that I have, well, it must have, yeah, it must have my picture in the background. So, and then this information that I have here. So I always show them like, Hey, you can change the verbiage. You can just put my name underneath it and then hit add. And you'll see that this is now right here on my home screen. So that could very much as well be like the icon for your team or your company and the week at a glance label underneath. And they click on that and pop, it goes straight up back to the card. It's right there. And week there it is, glance. that's like exactly what we were talking about. <laughs> so there's LFI week. There's the one that I've made for my networking group. You guys, I use these for all kinds of things because this is how I quickly show somebody an example of things as well. So my phone is full of shuffle cards. The ultimate shortcut. And what I love is if I'm updating a card in the future, right? When, when we go in and update that week at a glance, Kathy doesn't have to go in and re-download a link or anything like that. She just clicks on her week at a glance every week or during the week, whenever she needs to check the schedule to see what's going on. Um, you guys can empower your teams, your networks, you know, your followers, your community to do that as well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this Link Hub overview. Um, again, we're talking about uses during these, uh, these Shuffle use trainings. Uh, as you've seen uh, with Shuffle, you can build a Link Hub card literally in five minutes, guys. So if you don't have a Link Hub uh, card built out yet, consider doing that. The template will be in the marketplace shortly. Uh, so you'll go into the marketplace templates. Uh, if you're doing a search for it, although it'll probably be close to the top, you're gonna type in link hub. Any of those keywords should pull that up and then you select it and you can go through the build process just like Kathy showed us today. So Kathy, I'm gonna pass it back over to you. Any final thoughts? Otherwise, let's, uh, let's round this thing out. 
Yeah, absolutely. I'll give you the idea that I'm chatting about in chat right now. So uh, we have a leader in a, in a team and she does weekly and monthly calls. And she's like, I could use this to put all the call links and the dates and the times. And then nobody has the excuse that they couldn't find the phone number or they couldn't find the Zoom room or they couldn't get to something. And then everybody gets texted that information. So yeah, use it as a call log. You know, again, the calendar with a call log on first Monday, this is where we're, you know, go to this Zoom room or on this day, go to this phone number or whatever it is. And everybody has everybody's information. I mean, again, if you're trying to do something and it, you're, you can't figure out how to do it and shuffle, get into insiders, get into the calls with us. Um, like ER said on Tuesdays and Fridays, you have a chance to pick my brain. You have a ch chance to pick the, the founder of the company. I mean, these guys think about these things all the time. That's why they built it. So ask other, other people, see if they'll send you, if they've built a card already. This is a great community for sharing cards. So once you've built something out, ask somebody, hey, have you used it to do this? Can you share that with me so I can just clone it and save some time and I don't have to reinvent the wheel? Yes, we can. So get to know your other Shuffle users, get to know, you know, what do they do? Maybe they do something similar to the people that you meet networking. You can ask them if they can bar, you know, can I show them your card so they can have an idea of what they can do with Shuffle? Absolutely. Make sure they're in your card index so that you can show other people examples. I mean, this is the coolest tool you can have in your phone, hands down, as far as I'm concerned. Trying to see if we have one more question. All right, good, good, good. No excuses. Yep, everybody's good. All right, well, thank y'all for joining us today.